Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Couple of weeks back, we had bought bunk bed for our kids and their old coat was in fact not thrown away. I had few plans with that but was not sure how much I would succeed. Anyway, gave a try. It's been long time I badly wanted a crockery shelf that's quite big to fit all my crockery. I have a small one bought few months back but I wanted a glass door one. So, I didn't feel like throwing away the old coat. Try to build a crockery shelf or a cabinet with it. I didn't use all the pieces, only the ones that was in good condition was taken, the rest was thrown away. I wanted to cut the wood pieces by myself but very underconfident, I thought it's better to take it to a carpenter so that I can easily get it cut. I just drew to get an idea on the look and the wood pieces I would need. Accordingly, I took the measurement. It wasn't that easy to take measurements because these wooden pieces were quite heavy unlike the ones I've seen in IKEA. Marking with the pencil was not visible so I had to mark with something sharp. I took some of the measurements from the old cabinet like the gaps between each shelf. This was a piece kept under the bed. This would be the shelf or the rack for the cabinet. Finally took all the pieces to the carpenter. As I said earlier, this was a piece kept under the bed and that would be cut and kept as rack. I don't think I could have done these easily at home. So it was the best decision to bring to the carpenter. Now this video was not taken on a single day. It took many days to complete as I was even posting videos in between, kids online classes started and many other works. I ask everyone in the family to not come to my workplace so that I can work peacefully. It in fact took some time to figure out how to nail it. These nails were given by the carpenter. Thank you. 
I ended up realizing that I had nailed the pieces the wrong way. So when I placed the sheet for the back side, it wasn't fitting. When I pushed, everything came off. So I had to restart the work with double work. Had to pull out the nails. And that was complete. Now for the racks, marking the places. These were pieces that was cut and given by the carpenter for the racks to stay in place. I needed a total of 12 pieces that were 10 inches. Gave a paint over here with acrylic paint. And that's done. I shifted this rack to the sitting room or else the dining room would be totally congested. Meanwhile the carpenters came with the doors. While they were working with the doors, I was in the sitting room completing my work. I had put a piece of plant in water and the roots had grown quite well, so transferred to soil. I wanted to paint the glass with glass paint, so gave a simple design. Drew the design with the marker first. Keeping the glass on a table and then working on it would be much easier. I couldn't get the perfection I wanted by standing and drawing. I felt painting with my finger was much easier.
some final touch and there it was completed late night Everything was left as such and I continued in the morning. These glasswares were in the boxes and I used to take when guests used to come then again place it back so now I have space for all that I had found these tiny cups which were similar to the bigger ones we had so bought two for my kids And that completes today's video. Hope you all liked it. If so, do give a thumbs up and pass in your valuable thoughts in the comment section. Lastly, for more updates, do subscribe. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.